Welcome to EVE Online, I'm Major Freak. I'm soloing uh, Emerging Conduits. I've just finished my second. I got 4.5 million for this character. I don't have any online. I'm just uh, easier, less lag, hopefully. Um, I've got, I wasted enough time that the 10 minute cooldown is happening and another Emerging Conduit appeared. I'm gonna, I've aligned to it, I'm gonna warp to it. Uh, I got a anemic um, loot out of this. Uh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's like 2.4 million worth. Uh, I didn't get any of the. This is from Salvage. I didn't get any of the um, the proper loot. The um, the databases, Triglavian databases that are that actually worth like 10 times more, maybe 20 million if you're lucky. So. I wasn't lucky, and I didn't get any of those, so it was a waste of time. And at this point, knowing that I did the math on, I went out and mined, and you can't compress this stuff, tell uh, something something, it's crap, it's worth 150 uh, isk per cubic meter, there's like 800 units in each of these roids kind of and they mass 16 cubic meters per unit uh, it takes a it takes a few cycles to mine each roid using max uh, unboosted max uh, I'm sure it'd be faster if you used an orca in the middle and then these are like 50 kilometers from the middle each of these pockets so you could probably place a Mac at each of them and like mine it but you're mining kernite at uh, the the equivalent of Kernite Nobber, so why bother, right? Exactly. So that was completely useless. So everything about this stuff is useless, and they don't really give damage notifications to structures all the time, like fobs. So it's not in my community interest to take these out because they, you know, they're just going to harass, and only if you like do something stupid. It's not like uh, you get constant uh, notifications pinging away at you that your that your upworld is being attacked by blood raiders. These guys don't. So yeah, it's not in my interest to try to get rid of them because they don't disappear. This is permanent. I don't know when they'll shift, but maybe they won't. And it's just there forever. And every 10 minutes, if you destroy it, it comes back. So it's always going to be an annoyance in system. So something you get to learn to live with and unfortunately the noobs get annihilated by them when because they appear in normal asteroid belts so I'll stop ranting about CCP and get on with the next one so I'll warp to zero I'll drop my tractor unit blah, 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 blah. and since they're they got nerfed because of that 10 minute cooldown people aren't running them anymore so it's got them all to myself yay all right and as soon as I land, I'll start going directly down. You always land in the same spot in orientation to the big stuff. Alright, so launch for self, point right down, turn on afterburner, and watch the fireworks begin. And it happens right here. And three pop out. Okay, it's kind of random. So that's the first wave. And I need to take out the starving. Uh, tangling I have to take out first because it slows you down. Once I'm at it, uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. <coughs> 43, 41. Precision I'm using. Oh, next max flight is 37. 34. Oh, interesting. 31. <laughs> yeah, that definitely going next. And now they've aggroed. I can hit F for my hotkey. Just learned that recently thanks to a, a YouTube commenter. Yes, there's use in YouTube comments. Surprising. Oh, and I need to... I've got my... I took a standard and a hard shell tech too. There's about... 
pretty cheap compared. Uh, and I didn't get any side effects, so yay, 20% armor bonus and 25% armor bonus. The uh, target painter and the missile guidance computer uh, add about 50% more damage. And the best is the precision against both the destroyers and... Okay, so I'll switch over. F. And I'll take out that guy. And herring... There we go. So no particular order now. That guy needs to go down, and I'll switch as soon as he gets low and let the drones finish him off. Half hull, and I'll stop this. Switch to the har harrowing and turn that off. Let the drones finish them off. Target that. Hit F. There we go. So this is the first wave. And let's see how far I am. 127. Yeah, that's not good. Let's turn that sucker around. I want to orbit about 100 or 80 clicks. Now you pop. Is it too far away? Yeah, it's too far away. Did it drop any loot? No. And engage that. So the nice thing about the uh, target painter and the guidance computer, it, it helps me kill one off before I run out of juice and have to reload. So into hull. Oh, nice. Stop that. And it's the next one. Perfect. There we go. And 116, 114, 112. Well, that's good enough. A little orbit around there. Current. There you go. And so far, no real loot has dropped. Damn shame. go and I'll reload that and tangling that's the one we have to take care of right there so I've got to take that one out uh, then the starving then the harrowing uh, well probably the renewing but yeah definitely have to take out that so who's gonna get here first starving and renewing yeah first okay so we are going for, there we go, and 41 clicks, 41 clicks, 41 clicks, 41 clicks, 69, come on, get closer, hurry up, 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 they all remote rep anyway, so don't know why I'm bothering with this one, go, all right. And let's bring a tactical overview, overlay, and which direction am I going? So, yeah, I'm doing okay. I might not bump into any rocks, but I've got to keep an eye on that. Okay, so starving, that next. Tangling, here he comes. Definitely need to take out the tangling. Come on. Tangling, all right, he goes down. He's got to go down, and he's going to web me 21, 20, 
17, 15, 14. And he's webbing. All right. Kill that sucker. Bam. Now, this is the most important part. Look, my speed's going down. And they're repping him. All of them are trying to rep him. But now that I've taken out the renewing, that should be most of the rep. I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, the actual stats. Look at all that repping coming in. Thankfully, it's not much. You're going down. F. Come on. And turn off. Go to the starving. Let the drones finish him off. Woo! Oh, I know, suck it. Alright. And there we go. Perfect. And I need to get that guy, and then that guy, and then that guy. Awesome. So this is second wave. And into hull. So turn that off. Turn that off, and we'll go to him next. Turn on. There we go, and F. F hockey. Wow. So, so far, I'm not got a lot of confidence in the loot uh, that's being dropped so far. Not confident at all. Not really impressed. Well, if anything, my speed is lowering the damage of the missiles coming in at me. Oops, forgot to switch. But that was nicely timed regardless. Let's see, one. Two. Three missiles. Three missiles, pretty cool. So four missiles, that's pretty neat. So one missile. Two missiles. More missiles. That's a neat explosion. Five missiles. Six missiles. Awesome. Reload that sucker. And what's my direction like? Let's check this out. Uh, pretty sketchy. I'll have to be careful. Harrowing, starving, renewing, tangling. Alright, so harrowing. Starving. Two starvings. And a renewing. I need to take that tangling out though. Big time. Renewing F, F2, and whoops, reload. Take out the renewing. Tangling 16. And Zora next, of course. Take the starving, yeah. Both the starving, yeah. That's that's gonna be a problem. So I need to take the starving up first. The 
drones will kill that guy. Hopefully. And he's out of range again. Tangling is. The renewing is about to die. That should make the starving a bit easier to kill. Oh, wait, hey! What are those guys doing? Are they going after my... Doesn't matter. Okay, starving. Go, go, go. Next one. Web now, speed's going down. I don't think I need the target painter for the drones. I think they'll do just fine without me. And that should take care of things. Look at that capacitor. Getting really, really dangerously low. I'm gonna turn that off. Be slowing down, but hopefully I'll get my capacitor back in business in no time. F again for hot key. Yeah, when I was standing still and just blapping them for a while, it uh, it got pretty hairy. Uh, they were really putting a lot of damage in on me. And uh, I had to flee, actually. I've got uh, herring. Yeah, let's go for the herring first. I'm <laughs> getting lazy and thinking F does everything for me. <laughs> Lol. Alright, next will be the tangling. Or should I go for the Vedmac? I think I better go for the bed mag. It's probably the smartest thing for me to do. Alright. Because, kind of useless because I don't have any speed. Because, A, my capacitor is shite. And this is the last spawn, anyways, so. Doing pretty good tanking the damage. And my mobile tractor is merrily working away. And there's some right there. I'll just... I think, well, I'll probably be chasing my tractor main. But it doesn't matter now, does it? So, let's see what's going on. Go for that guy first. Probably get tractor before I can get close. <laughs> and F for... Take that guy out down quick. Now let's see if the resist are different. Uh, 45, 42. Well they're a bit different but not not any real difference from these two which are pretty much the same. Oops. Yeah. Damage output is different but it's rough. It's probably a bit more resist but you know on the whole it's got a bit more armor resist, but other than that, uh, not much uh, radically different. Thermal, still the king. So much trolling on the internet. Oh, ooh, you need explosive, or you need something else, or you need kinetic. <laughs> Confusing maths and stuff like that. Oh my god. So much trollage. Show me the money. And we'll go to that guy f next. Excellent. Perfect timing on my reload. Parallel enduring. <laughs> what? Rip off. Wow. That was kind of pathetic. <laughs> wow. I take that guy out. And I'll head towards my mobile tractor unit. Or maybe I'll just go for that guy. No, I won't, because I already looked in there. 
it. Nope. Maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> Come on. Database. Database. Make this worth it. There, um, cap stable again. Oh. It's being taken away from me. Chase it. Come here, you. Faster, faster. Okay. Yeah, so that is uh, Emerging Conduits. This is my third. Uh, I had to redo the the uh, damage output. The tank um, I was pretty happy with. Uh, it's just that I wasn't moving. I didn't know which to target my first time around. almost lost. Uh, I got the heck out of there. Um, and I switched out my Webers, which weren't really in range anyways, for uh, Atari Painter and a Mystical Guidance Computer. That bumped up my damage by 50%. Uh, you won't see it on the simulator. Uh, in fact, you'll see it better if you use Fury. And by the way, you can use Tech 2 ammo in Faction and Dead Space and Cosmos uh, now. Pretty sure Dead Space, too. So yeah. Um, that's it in a nutshell it's pretty straightforward once you get your tactics down right uh, but then again i've got a lot of um, dps mitigation uh, on my side uh, yeah i've taken a picture of it um, and i'll of course copy this to clipboard and paste it for you guys when i upload it but yeah, um, you do the simulation and you can get 113 um, hit points per second um, and a lot of resists and yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, you'll get what? 4.5 4, 4 million reward, but I don't. you don't get any bounty off them. Uh, so it's pretty shite. Uh, and the salvage loot is crap. Is it worth it? Oh, emerging conduits? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, I would not recommend it at all. I don't think I got any Trigvalian databases, which is the only loot worth grabbing. It it's the only thing worth uh, the ore absolute shite you have to work it here and it's 50 kilometers from these ore clusters right here there's some ore in here you can see right here uh, talasanite 150 uh, is per cubic meter so don't even bother it's like armor Ooh, there it is right on so it's really low mass everything else is like Hey, bud. Everything else is, is totally crap. I mean, it's not worth it at all. Uh, I'm not even going to bring salvage drones along anymore. It's just... What are you doing? <laughs> it's not worth it. Come on. Get closer. There we go. I'm actually considering uh, not using the afterburner, but it, I think I think it's useful for getting range and keeping range, and uh, yeah, a little bit useful. Um, but I, I might decide because it's a huge power. The oversize is a huge power drain. I'm thinking of uh, redoing my fit completely. Uh, MJDs are great uh, if if you're not warp scrambled. If it's a long point. If you have a warp disruption, you can use the MJD to get 100 clicks away. It's got a long cooldown, but it's a good escape mechanism if you need to. Yeah, and that is worth... Crap. I was hoping for more. Did they? No. Nerf it.
Oh god, they might have. Oh geez, they might have nerfed the price. <laughs> okay, it's completely useless. What what the heck am I doing here? Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Sayonara, suckers. Wow. That was a complete waste of time. So yeah, uh, if you want to really suck at making ISK, do the emerging conduits. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, there's an invasion next door. Uh, let's go check it out, and uh, hopefully I'll have um, a more hopeful video for you folks. <laughs>